Hi friends, I'm Scott from Sharky's Greenhouses and Beat Your Neighbor Fertilizer. And today we're just gonna take a quick look at cleaning up geraniums. So a lot of you have been asking about geraniums. They're a very popular uh, flower for the summer, but they do need to have some care. And it, it's very simple, but you need to stay on top of it. So when we're cleaning up hanging basket geraniums or containers, uh, this is what we wanna look at. So you can see here, there's some spent flowers with the geraniums and we wanna take those off. Now we're not just going to pluck off the top of it, that would be incorrect. What we wanna do is take off the entire stem because geraniums are very susceptible to rot. So we're actually gonna take this flower and the stem all the way down to where it connects to the main stem and it just cracks off very easily. And you can see I took off this whole thing. Now what happens if I don't do that? So if I just took off the top of the bloom, you would have this stick, but this stick will rot down and it will rot down and it will fall into the foliage and that's where we can run into problems. So you really have to be careful. Geraniums do take some work. You do have to clean them up and it doesn't take long. So this, this geranium, this hanging basket, this is a 12 inch hanging basket. Uh, we absolutely love this series. This is the Rocky Mountain series and it, it produces big, beautiful blooms of the geraniums. They get big. Uh, they're gorgeous in hanging baskets or larger containers, and they just perform all summer long. But just like any geranium, they're gonna take some care. So uh, the best thing is to stay on top of it, and this one kinda got a little bit, um, a little overdone, so we, we've been lagging on care. So really just going through and uh, yeah, once a week, going through, cleaning it up, uh, taking these stems right out of there, and not just the blooms, the spent blooms, but if there's any foliage that's in question, we also do not want that to fall down and rot within within that plant. You know, when it gets on top of that soil and it's rotting down, that's where you really run into trouble. And if there's, if there's any foliage that, you know, the leaves are maybe yellow or there's maybe something that just, just doesn't quite look right, go ahead and take it off and, and just clean that up. So really keeping your geraniums nice and clean and um, uh, that helps them to perform. So again, taking this stem all the way down cleaning this up, don't let this fall down into the soil. That's where we run into trouble. Now, when it comes to the basic care of geraniums, geraniums like the sun, they like that full sun, they, they can handle the heat. We grow our geraniums, these hanging baskets, we grow up above uh, about eight or nine feet up in our greenhouses and they get blasted with the sun and the heat. So when somebody's like, oh yeah, my geraniums just, they just burned up. I'm like, no way, because these geraniums are sitting in at least 120 degrees when we're growing them, at least 120 degrees uh, every day when, when that sunshine is out. We've seen 135 plus degrees. So can a geranium handle the heat? Yes, they can. Uh, the question is the watering. Now, that's where people run into trouble is when their geraniums burn up, they weren't necessarily burning up. They weren't water, watering them properly. They weren't caring for them. And yes, that's where they dried out and kind of gave up that ghost. So yeah, geraniums can handle that sun and the heat. Uh, now, geraniums do not like to be too wet. So we have to be very careful uh, that we're not over watering geraniums. Geraniums have a very delicate root system. So if those roots are constantly wet or too wet, they will rot down and that's where your geraniums will die off pretty quickly. So you do have to run them a little bit drier. So a little bit, a little bit on the drier side, not totally dry, but on the drier side, they don't need to be wet. Um, and that's gonna keep you kind of in that safe zone. So not, not overwatering, not way, way underwatering. We really wanna be right down the middle. And then fertilizing, so of course you can fertilize the geraniums with Beat Your Neighbor fertilizer. And uh, about once a week will help push these uh, blooms out. And you know, we always say that Fertilizer Friday, that's a good way for our customers to, uh, to remind themselves to go ahead and fertilize their plants and flowers. And Fertilizer Friday, you know what? imprint that in your mind of, hey, that's another good day for me to go through and clean up my geraniums. If I clean them up once a week when I'm fertilizing, that will help keep pushing out those blooms. What you don't wanna do is 
like this plant where it has all these blooms and guess what now they're all kind of being spent at the same time i'm going to have to go through and really heavily clean up this hanging basket and there's not going to be a whole lot left when, when i'm done uh, because i'm going to have to take off so many of these blooms but the good thing is there are a lot of brand new blooms in here and uh, they'll be popping probably this week so really stay on top of that that fertilizer friday go ahead fertilize your plant and if it's you know if it's raining or something or it's it's just not appropriate to uh, fertilize on a friday you don't have to be stuck on friday uh, it can be saturday it can be monday whatever is easy for you to remember and just go to that next appropriate time if it's raining or if the weather is not cooperating with you you don't have to be stuck on fertilizer friday we just know uh, with our customers that's a very easy way to remember that so again cleaning up your geraniums do it about once a week go through take that that bloom and and take it all the way down to the to that main stem it, it cracks up very easily uh, there's a way if you want to if you want to get just a little bit more mileage out of the blooms, you can see where this is spent. You can go through and you can kind of pluck that off when, um, and maybe save some of this. Uh, you know, when, when it's on the flower, like say on this one here, there's, there's, a, there's a lot of blooms left on this one, but, but it's getting a little bit funky right in the middle here. So I'm going to just take that, pull that out, get rid of it and leave this blossom because yeah there's maybe another few days left on this the darker colors like the dark reds and the dark pinks they don't show as easily uh, if you have a lighter color geranium like this this light pink or even a white white is probably the the one that shows uh that shows when those those blossoms are are spent uh that, that's going to be uh much quicker and you're going to have to get rid of those uh, a lot sooner than if you have a dark color geranium so those are a few tips and i i hope that it helps for your care and cleanup of the geraniums if you're liking our videos please be sure to give us a thumbs up follow us on facebook and then subscribe to our youtube channel we have hundreds of how-to videos there and then hop on over to our beatyourneighbor.com website we have our tips and our tricks and our blog articles and of course our beat your neighbor fertilizer that can all be found at beatyourneighbor.com thanks for watching have a good day